helping your child at home. As we've discussed this week, children with an autistic spectrum disorder have a range of differences which cause challenges in their daily life. It is our role as parents, family members and friends to support them with this. We're going to have a look now at some ways that we can help. First of all, we're going to talk about communication skills and some strategies to help with this. Your child may have difficulty understanding and using nonverbal communication, including eye contact, facial expression, gesture and body language. They may be a chatterbox, but it is likely that they will have some difficulties in relation to their understanding of language. How do you think that lady with the blonde hair is feeling? Feels a bit confused. Mm -hmm. How do you know? Because of my... Understanding language. Say your child's name before you begin to speak so that you get their attention and give them chance to focus. Keep your language simple, especially when your child is stressed. Avoid using complex instructions with several parts. Divide long instructions into short chunks. For example, Sam, brush your teeth, then put your jumper on, rather than put your jumper on Sam, but don't forget to brush your teeth first. If you're trying to explain something complicated, use pictures, photos or diagrams to help your child understand. Using pictures will mean that you don't need to use as much language. It always helps to show rather than just tell. Watch your language. Say exactly what you mean and mean what you say. Children with autism often interpret language literally. If you say wash your hands in the toilet, they might just do that. Come on, pull your socks up. Remember, sarcasm and jokes are often difficult to understand and you may need to take the time to explain these to your child. Be careful that you do not phrase an instruction as a question. If you definitely expect your child to come to dinner, don't say, Sam, do you want to come for dinner now? As they may see that they have a choice. Using positive language. Be positive in the language that you use. Tell your child what you would like them to do rather than what you do not want them to do. For example, nice walking instead of don't run. Sometimes children with autism find answering questions difficult. You may ask a direct question and receive a different or unexpected answer. Help your child to practice answering different types of questions. If they find this tricky, model to them the correct responses that you wanted them to say.
Who's who's driving the bus? Gerald. Yeah. And where's the car? I can see Bunny. What's Bunny doing? Car. Bunny's sleeping. Sleeping in the box. Turn taking skills. Help your child to take turns in conversations. Play turn taking games to help them learn how to take turns. Simple games such as skittles, dice or board games work really well. Practice taking turns when friends and family are together and talking. Use an object like a toy brick or a feather to indicate whose turn it is to talk next. Oops, try again. Oh, not the plate. <laughs> Kitty's turn. Okay. I can't wait. Who's, who's turn? My turn. Ah, your turn. My turn. You forgot chicken. Anyone got chicken? No. Harry Onion. Harry Onion. Eddie's turn. Okay.